Hello everybody, welcome back to Seed Explores. Today we're going to explore the area of Fremantle in Perth and the first place we're going to go check out is the Fremantle Prison. So there's multiple tours that you can do here at Fremantle but we have gone with the convict tour so it's a one hour tour just around the prison and just all the basic history but you can do like night tours, true crime tours, uh, what's the one behind bars which talks about um, all the modern kind of convicts so let's go. So we just had an awesome tour with Debbie, our tour guide, and she showed us around the whole prison pretty much. Um, we got to see all the different cells, we got to see the two types of churches there, as well as the punishment area, the recreation area, and the libraries. Um, everything was pretty interesting actually. It was interesting to hear that corporal punishment was still going on in Western Australia until 1992. Um, the youngest person to receive uh, the whipping was an eight-year-old boy, which is just crazy. Uh, and the longest serving prisoner here was here for 57 years in total. So that was all part of the convict tour. We're only doing one today because we are off to explore more of Fremantle. Next stop is a cafe. We have come to South Terrace now in Fremantle. It's also nicknamed Cappuccino Strip. Uh, it's the main place to come if you want cafes, restaurants, or little boutique shops. And it is really busy. It is hustling and bustling here. We're here on a Sunday. It looks like there's a, a car event. There's loads of like, antique cars going through, motorbikes, uh, loads of people out enjoying all the stores and I'm going to have a little browse around. I found a second hand bookstore which I have to go in. I really like this. Surprise book. Really cute. Anxiety inducing finale, that's me. <laughs> I did get a book. I've got a gold D-pack. I do like D-pack. Better go pay. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. <laughs> what does my one mean? The one that I chose originally. Brings in the form of creativity. Brings happiness, vitality, and sexual energy. Yeah, get that one. Balances emotions, reduces fears, and helps to overcome depression. Yeah, just take the bow. <laughs> Healing powers to the nervous system. Aren't they beautiful? They're so scared of dropping that though. <laughs> okay, I had a little shop in that really pretty crystal shop and it actually leads directly into the markets. So we're here, let's go check it out. Yes, I don't drink coffee, but Corey did quit coffee, but is now drinking coffee again. So I have a feeling he wants to go and try out their exciting coffee store. We found a little coffee stand. They had beans from all over the world and they smelled amazing. Um, I went up to the counter and asked them what the strongest bean was they had. And uh, they've given me this. It is a mocha. I think it might be Ethiopian, but um, it's very tasty. Very cool. I like it here. There's loads Lots of, of interesting, yeah, loads of interesting little stores, um, like handmade stores and there's some food. Yeah, and those shen. It's still got some like old um, street names, like some more old. I don't know if it's actually old or purposely old. Can't be that old. It's only the best. gonna be like um, people always say go to the markets and usually it's all the same same but they're really cool really unique it's like the European markets we've been to around the cities in Europe I really liked that that was a highlight of my day I think going there but we still have a lot more to do we want to go and see the shipwreck museums blown away <laughs> um, we are gonna go check out the shipwreck museum here it was recommended to us by our friend they said it was pretty good and it came up in the top things to do in Fremantle so yeah let's go have a look it's free why not so in here is a shipwreck and we've got controlled airspace so we're going to push a button
the first wreck was from a Dutch um, ship in the 1700s and we get to go up and have a look down below onto it. donations the staff are really good they'll just pop up and then suddenly just give you some information I was like oh thank you but yeah there's a couple of shipwrecks there some history about why there's so many shipwrecks along the WA coast and a lot of them were Dutch ships weren't they the VOC yeah but definitely a nice little stop a nice freebie now we want to get some pearls for the mail. and now Corey wants to go and check out little creatures there's a lot of history here in Fremantle especially uh, from the days of the settlers and the colonies coming here. Um, this was the main hub really, wasn't it? Because there was water. Yeah. There was some reasons that we heard in the prison store. There was the wind, they like to call that the doctor. The Fremantle doctor. The Fremantle doctor, because the wind would blow away their diseases. I think I'll be alright, it's not a big event. and it has all the cafes behind you. It's beautiful big hoop pine trees that you see like in the Gold Coast in Burley and they're all like lined up against the beach. That's what it reminds me of. So Fremantle is the gateway to the Swan River. That's where the river meets the ocean. And I'm pretty sure that is why they colonized here because it was an easy access way up the river where they could get supplies up and down the river. Um, and then have ships coming in to dock here at the Fremantle port. Ta-da! Welcome to the Rainbow Containers. These are iconic to Fremantle. Fremantle is known for being a large port. I think it's the largest in WA, so the containers are inspired by that. And the bright rainbow colours are just so happy. I love this. I love driving past and seeing it. We have already taken some photos here for our Instagram. We'll share that here at CJ Explores. Go check us out. And this is one of our favourite spots in Fremantle. When people usually Google Fremantle, this place here usually appears and it's not hard to see why. Well guys, that wraps up our time here in Fremantle. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Go check out our Perth vlog too and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.